one, two. Write down the value of the fourth term, T4, of this sequence. That is 2.1.1. So what are we given? We are given the quadratic sequence where T1 is 0, T2, 5, T3, 14, and T4 is unknown. That's what we are looking for. Here yeah, we land. So let's take a look. We have 0, 5, 14, and we are looking for T4. Quite a basic equation. Quite a quadratic sequence equation you would expect in the exam, right? The difference between 0 and 5. Well, if we say 5 minus 0, we get 5. If we say 14 minus 5, we get 9. If we say 9 minus 5, we get 4. So that is the second common difference. So take a look at this. 9 plus 4 is 13. And in order for us to get T4, we need to add 13 to 14. So 14 plus 13, that is 27. So here we go. T4 is equal to 27. So T4 is equal to 27. 2.1.1. Okay, let's take a look at 2.1.2. 2. Determine an expression for the nth term of this sequence. So the nth term for the uh, quadratic sequence, we have Tn being equal to a n squared plus b n plus c. So we need a, we need b, we need c. How do we do? How do we do that? Two a is equal to the second common difference, right? So we're gonna have two a being equal to four. So it should be easy to see that a is equal to two, and then three a plus b is equal to the first term of the first differences. So what are we seeing? We're seeing that 3a plus b is equal to 5. So we have b being equal to 5 minus 3a. a is 2. So it should be easy to see that b is equal to minus 1 because we're going to get 6 there. So 5 minus 6 should give us minus 1. And then from there on, a plus b plus c should be equal to the first term, which is 0. So 2 minus 1 plus c is equal to 0. 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1 plus c is equal to 0. c is equal to minus 1. So there we go. Tn will be equal to 2n squared minus n minus 1. 2n squared minus n minus 1. There we go. That is 2.1.2. Let's take a look at 2.1.3. 2.1.3 says, let's calculate the number of terms in the sequence. So the last term of the sequence has a value of 860. So because we know that Tn is equal to 2n squared minus n minus 1, we just need to substitute 860 in place of n and find the value of n. In doing that, we would know how many terms we have in our sequence. So Tn squared minus n minus 861 is equal to 0. Obviously, if I try to find the factors of 861, of which when I add, I get minus 1, it's just a painful process. Rather, let me say that n is equal to not x, but n. A lot of people, they will say x is equal to minus b, and they use the quadratic equation. But it's n in this case because we're looking for n. So n minus b. b is minus 1. That's easy to see. Plus or minus the square root of minus 1 squared minus 4. a is 2, and c is minus 861. Okay. Everything divided by 2a. So 2 multiplied by 2. n is equal to 2. So let's take a look. Minus, minus 1 plus the square root of minus 1 squared minus 4, 2 minus 861. 861 divided by 2a. So this is, that is 2 multiplied by 2. n is equal to 21 or n is equal to 2. Let me find the other value of n n is equal to minus 
obviously this cannot be correct because we cannot have a negative position so n is equals to 21 we have 21 terms in the sequence that is 2.1.3 2.2 determine the sum of the whole numbers between 100 and 1000 which are divisible by 12. okay so if a number is divisible by 12 it is a divisible by 11 and not 12 it is a factor of 11 if it is divisible by 11. so what is the smallest number greater than 100 which is divisible by 11. well we can think 10 multiplied by 11 which is 110 so that is the smallest number that is greater than 100 which is divisible by 11 okay and then now we need a number that is a uh, that is less we need the smallest number well not the smallest but the biggest number um closest to 1000 of which it is divisible by 11 we can think let me check 99 multiplied by 11 no that is way more than 1000 90 multiplied by 11 is 990 so the last term of this sequence that is formed by these numbers that are divisible by 11 the first term is 110 and the last term is 990 so 110 plus 11 is 121 the second term is 121 obviously we know that the common difference is going to be 11 because we just add in 11 therefore and it's going to be divisible by 11 so a is equals to 110 d is equals to 11 what are we looking for we are looking for the sum so we can find the position of the last term which is 990 and from there on we can find the sum essentially so we know that tn for an arithmetic sequence because this sequence will be arithmetic tn is equals to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d so tn is equals to 110 plus n minus 1 multiplied by 11 so this is 110 plus 11 n minus 11 so this is equals to 11 n minus so what is 110 minus 11 99 so 11 n minus 99 that is tn so now we can substitute 990 and find the value of n in doing that we're going to be able to therefore calculate the sum because in order for us to calculate the sum we do need the number of terms this is why we are doing what we are doing at this point so let's go ahead and do that 990 minus 99 is 891 okay let's see 891 so 891 is equals to 11 and so 891 divided by 11 <laughs> i hope it's a whole number yes it is so 81 is equals to n we have 81 terms <laughs> right 81 numbers between 11 and 1000 which are divisible between 100 and 1000 which are divisible by 11 so that is that's it we're gonna therefore have sn b equals to n over 2 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by b right so sn will be 81 over 2 2 multiplied by a which is 110 so 110 plus n minus 1 81 minus 1 multiplied by the difference which is 11 okay there we go and then we need to put that in our calculators 44,550.